Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu. Blessed are you, eternal God, ruler of the universe. Father, I thank you for each and every one who has called out my name in prayer, whether I heard it or not. Father, take them from one good degree of grace to another and cause everything their hands touch to prosper. Father, we confess our sins in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Anointed One. His name is Jesus Christ, and at that name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Father, we give you glory as we ask for your forgiveness. We have sinned and come short of your glory. We plead the precious blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary for the remission of our sins. We stand in agreement with every name, concern, and situation that has been lifted up on this prayer line. Father, set a watch before these lips of clay so that every breath we speak is a word of laughter, life, light, and love. Father God, we lift your name up. You are able to meet every one of our needs. You know our conditions and our situations, and you have not forgotten about us. The enemy is trying to discourage us and throw us off the track, sowing seeds of doubt. He's using pain, pressure, and frustration. He's digging up the root of bitterness. He's reviving old memories of depression and disappointment. You've already instructed us to cast our cares upon you, for you care for us. He's doing all of this just to hinder our progress. He wants to thwart our destiny. Little does he know he is a defeated foe. The accuser of the brethren wants us to lose our faith. He knows that if we can endure, if we can outlast his ruses, his tricks, and his wiles, that patience and faith will blossom forth and produce promise and promotion. Break up the fallow ground of our hearts that we might become good ground that is receptive to your word. Let your word, Father, go forth where and it has been sent. Let it accomplish what it was sent to do and let it not return into you void. This is not the time for throwing in the towel. This is not the time for calling it quits. We have been wonderfully and fearfully made a little bit lower than the angels. And we have this treasure of God hidden inside our earthly vessel of clay. So Father, encourage us. Don't let us get weary in well-doing. We're standing on your word. It says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We are more than a conqueror, and our five senses may not be able to perceive it right now, but we are victorious. So I'm saying, hang on and hold on. We are already declared to be the winners. Father, give us endurance and strength for the journey. Yet the road gets rough and the going gets tough, but have us to know that we were built for this. Father, you made us to be a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a peculiar people. You called us to be the salt of the earth, a light in the darkness, and a city that sits on a hill. But we have failed so often. So, Father, we ask that you would build us up and make us fit for our future. Shake us and wake us up to the responsibility of our assignments. Help us to move past our lack of motivation, fear and doubt and the need to be in control of things. We are reminded that those whom the Son has set free are free indeed tonight. We are free. The shackles have fallen. The manacles have failed. We are now walking in liberty and authority. We are forgiven. We are justified. We are acquitted. We are declared righteous in your eyesight. We have favor. We are appointed to eternal life. And we are now sitting in heavenly places in Christ. And we thank you, Jesus. According to Matthew 20, we may have left our peace somewhere we shouldn't have. It might be in that last relationship, that last job, that last church. The Bible tells us to let our peace return unto us. Father, don't allow our peace to be disturbed. No matter what comes our way, we can say with assurance that all is well and as it should be. Father, you have not forgotten about us. Daddy, we thank you for working things out for our favor. We are in an ever-present time of the need of your help, Father. So, God, we are sane in the brain because you are a helper. We are saved and sanctified today because you are a helper. We are stable and spiritual because you are a helper. And no weapon that's formed against us can 
will or shall prosper today in the mighty name of Jesus we come against all manner of sickness and disease we call you out fibroids fibromyalgia migraine headaches autoimmune diseases childhood diseases irritable bowel symptom uh, depression anxiety sleep disturbances reverse your progress in the name of Jesus joint pain arthritis gout lumbago rheumatism cancer sickle cell anemia autism diabetes irregular blood pressure heart palpitations readjust yourselves COVID-19 high and low blood pressure, diverticulosis, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, palsy, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, lupus, leukemia. All of you are trespassing on holy ground. In the name of Jesus, we assure you, loose your hold and be gone. Dementia, Alzheimer's, mental discomfiture, fog and haze, forgetfulness, vertigo, cataracts, clear up. In the mighty name of Jesus, left and right hemispheres of the brain, Find balance and equilibrium. Every biological, biochemical, and bioelectrical system, correct yourselves. Every gland regulates secretions at optimum levels. Stress and worry, your power is dissipated. Now in the matchless name of Jesus, cysts, warts, every illegal growth, you are denied blood supply. The word declares that we are every whit whole and by his stripes we are healed. And we're standing on that word and we receive our healing in the strong name of Jesus. We project that healing virtue to the people in the circles of our concern and influence. We decree and declare that our families are healed, our friends are healed, our bills are being paid through supernatural debt cancellation. We have favor with debt collectors and people in high places. We are being promoted beyond the scope of our education our experience and our training. Father God, we ask that you would feed the hungry, clothe and shod the naked, send hope to those who are unfairly incarcerated, send relief to the oppressed and downtrodden, send bright memories and purpose to those who have entertained thoughts of suicide, lift up the bow down head everywhere. Father, don't forget the victims of weather-related catastrophe. Save the lost, those who don't yet know you in the pardon of their sins. And Father, reclaim the backslider. Bind up the spirits of murder, mayhem, wrath, rage, revenge. Send them back to the outer darkness and bring us out into a wealthy place. Breathe new life into our situation. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let peace flow like a mighty river all over the earth. We'll continue to lift you up and give praise, glory, and honor to your name because of what you've done for us. And even if you didn't do it, we'd still praise you because you are worthy. Your name is holy and sanctified and safe in our mouths. Father, bless every member of this prayer circle, especially the intercessors. Father, don't forget every home and church that is represented in this virtual tabernacle of prayer. Get glory out of what we say and do in spite of what we say and do. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus Christ's name. And if you never do another thing for us, what you've done is already enough. And those who can find harmony and synchronicity with this prayer, please indicate so by offering God something out of your mouth. Amen, amen, and an amen. Hallelujah. It is so. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom, people of God. Be encouraged and be blessed.